Well, it is World Series Game 5 out at Chase Field in Phoenix, and fans have really traveled from across the state to witness tonight's big game, including our very own Sean Mooney. And Sean, hopefully you're giving some positive vibes out there to the D-backs today. How's it going? Well, Monica, there's a lot of electricity out here. Uh, in front of Chase Field, and you can see a lot of people still coming in. We're about 25 minutes from the first pitch, and they're still piling in. Chase holds about 48,000 plus. We hope they will all be cheering for the Diamondbacks because they've got a tough assignment ahead, down three games to one as we begin game five here shortly. Uh, but it is possible. If you remember back in 2016, the Cubs did it against Cleveland, so we're saying there is still a chance, and right now I want to get a little more into the weeds about this game. I want to bring in our sports director, Matt Reynoldson, to talk a little bit more. Let's first, before we even talk about tonight, uh, a little more about this team. I mean, they have some grit. They definitely do. I mean, a tough summer. You mentioned 16 and 31, that awful yeah. stretch of 47 games. But this team has answered back all season. They've certainly done it all postseason. Their backs were against the wall going into Philly in the National League Championship Series, right. a, t a, gate, a place that no team had won in the postseason. They won two to win the NLCS. Now, uh, pitching is always a big factor. They got Gellin on the mound tonight. Uh, how big a factor is that? And then what do you think is the big key to this game? Well, I think it's a big factor that Ryan Nelson ate up like five innings yesterday. That's a big factor because it means the guys behind Zach Gellin will be able to pitch. They do have all three of their bullpen guys, their main bullpen guys ready to go tonight. Yeah. And that includes Arizona, former Arizona Wildcat Kevin Ginkle as well as closer Paul Sewell. And we hope we don't see them too early. No, no. Uh, Zach Gellin some... needs to eat up some innings tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You say there's a, there's a big key to this game, though. There is, and it's scoring first. Both of these teams are undefeated this postseason when they score first in the game. So whoever puts the first tally on the board, they have a sizable advantage in the result of this one. All right, this one about to get away, uh, get started here at Chase Field. And, of course, we've got team coverage. We're going to have a lot more throughout the night. Stay with us, but right now I'm going to set it back to you, Monica.